In this workbook, we're going to be entering employee information, and you'll see how to prevent duplicate employee ID numbers from being entered in this column. First, I'm going to change this into a table, a formatted Excel table. So I've selected a cell in this list, and on the Home tab, I'll click Format as Table, and I'll pick one of the styles that I like. So I'll pick this one, and it's picked the right cells with my data, and it does have a header, and I'll click OK. Next, I'm going to create a name that refers to the cells in the Employee ID column, and that will automatically expand if new rows are added. So I'm going to select the two cells where I've entered IDs already, click in the name box up here to the left of the formula bar, and I'm going to type a one word name. So I'll call this EMP ID S for employee IDs, and then press the enter key to complete it. So now this column in the table is named and it will grow or shrink if I change the number of rows. On the worksheet, if we wanted to check for duplicates, we could use the count if function. So in this cell, if I type equals count if, open bracket, I can select the range that I want to look for duplicates in. And here you can see that it's referring to the table and that column. I'll put in a comma and I want it to compare to cell A2. So I'll just type A2 there, close the bracket and press enter. And that result tells me that there's just one employee ID in that column with that number. And I could copy it down to check the other rows. We're going to use the count if formula with data validation. So it will check as you try to enter some values in this column. So again, I'm going to select these two cells and on the ribbon, go to the data tab and click Data Validation. On the Settings tab, I'm not going to allow any value. I'm going to have a specific setting. So I'll click the drop down arrow and go to Custom. I'm going to create a formula using that count if function. So in here, I'll type an equal sign, count if, open bracket. And I want to use that name that I created. So I'm going to press the F3 key on the keyboard. That opens up a list that I can paste names from. Here's employee IDs, and I'll double click on that. That puts it into the formula, and now a comma. The active cell right now is A2. I can see its address right here, so that's what I'm going to use in this formula. So A2, close the bracket. It's going to count, and I want to make sure that there are either no instances or just one. So less than, equal to, one. And now I'm going to click OK. And those cells have that data validation. So now I'm going to just clear out this count if that we put there. That was just for an example. In this last cell, I'll press tab. That creates a new row. And if I try to type one, two, three, four, five, which already exists, and press tab, I get a warning that I can't use that. So I'll cancel and I'd have to put in a different number here. If I put in one, two, three, four, six and press tab, it will accept that number. So to prevent duplicates, you can use data validation and count if. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.